Hello everyone, in this quick video I'll be going over the Mega Trend Indicator and how uh, many ways to use it to create a uh, trading signal. So previously we used uh, the price action and we used a filter, moving average, and also we added Hakanashi. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it. By default, nothing is being selected, so you're not going to see anything here. And so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just enable the Hakanashi and I'm going to leave it on as a trading signal. So here is the Hakanashi and it's not as a trend direction but it's actually giving the signal. So I'm going to click OK. So as you can see when it's uh, red we start selling and when Hakanashi uh, changes to a buy. Uh, we buy and so on and then we have a, a trade and again none of these indicators in here with paint so you can use it uh, with confidence but there are certain times that you might have something like this so you want to apply some filters like some here and uh, with our uh, indicator you can even just using the hack and ashy you can say how many bars before you can de detect trend. So some of those, uh, as we saw, it was back to back, it changed color. So you can set it like it has to be, let's say three bars before uh, you will detect as a trend. So now, as you can see, some of those are being eliminated. The back to back is being eliminated. So trading, you can also use another indicator so I'm going to go ahead again reset and set hack and ask it to true and uh, I can apply another indicator like moving average to also follow the trend so let's say I'm using the hack and ask as my trading signal and I'm going to use uh, moving average let's say moving average and I'm going to use the moving average as my trend direction Alright, and then uh, so the moving average selected is an MA ribbon, and you have the settings here it is 5 and 100 as my show, so you can change it uh, as you see fit. And I'm going to go ahead and enable it so I can see the on the screen. Alright, so now we got our signals from. Uh, the Hakanashi and the, the using the MA ribbon as a trend direction. So we get our sell signals and we get our buy signals. So here, as you can see, we got uh, these signals, and this is just using the regular Hakanashi. So we can also change to the uh, Hakanashi smooth. So we we'll can see the difference here. And now you, as you can see the difference here with uh, Hakanashi Smooth. And it, this is because uh, we're not getting any sales signal here because when the Smooth Hakanashi gave a signal, uh, it was not already, the trend direction has not changed because our trend direction that we're using is the MA ribbon. It was still the buy one hack and action. And you can adjust these with uh, the settings. So if you're doing scalping, you can change uh, these. Let's say we change these to five and five and click okay. And now we have uh, signals here. So following the same trend direction, our trend direction is the MA uh, MA ribbon, and now we're using the uh, Hakanashi to trade. So all these settings are available for you to uh, make changes to to find the best combination that fit your trading style. Uh, also, uh, since we're using the Hakanashi and MA. We can also use it the opposite. So here 
what we were doing is we were using this as the trading as the trend direction while using the Hakanashi as the main uh, signal so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this the trend direction and then I'm gonna change this to the trading uh, make this to be the trading signal so again now this is not the trade uh, the trend direction this is for trading this will be the one that's given the signal and this one is going to be the trend so i can click ok and then we can see the signals so similar to uh what we had before but now we trading with uh the hakanashi uh we're using the ma ribbon as the actual signal so again you can uh, play with the settings to find a signal that works best for the pair that you trade thank you